Good morning. Welcome to My Wealthy Lifestyle. I hope all is well with y'all this morning. Wherever you are, whether it's day or night, I welcome you to My Wealthy Lifestyle. And I just ask that you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Pressing the notification bell for future content. This morning I want to talk about, talk about loving ourselves and not looking for other people to give us love on a level that we are not willing to give love. We must learn to love each other and we shouldn't want anything less for someone else. You know, we want people to love us, but we don't want to go the extra mile to love them. We're looking for them to pour into us and we're not willing to pour into ourselves or pour into them as well. But just living life, I've learned that love starts with yourself. And if you don't love yourself, then how can you learn love someone else? You know, how can you uh, say you love someone else when you don't love yourself? And love starts within. It starts with you. It starts with me. And if I can't love myself, why am I looking for so much love from someone else that I'm not willing to do for myself? Love starts with us. Love starts with God, with the Lord first. Loving Him. And that love that we have for Him, He'll teach us how to love ourselves. So, I'm just passionate about love and showing people that I love them. You know, Love is a is a is an amazing word and it can be taken out of context so much, you know. Uh people materialize it, you know, they'll start uh showing people that they love them by gifts and the amount of the gift. It's not it has nothing to do with the amount of a gift. It's the thought that is put into a gift. You know, it's good to get an expensive gift, but it's also uh, good to know that it goes beyond material, material things. And when you start putting uh, love you know, most people think of showing people love by buying them expensive gifts. But you can still buy a person an expensive gift and still be the biggest devil. You know, some people buy you gifts to pacify you. Some people buy you gifts because they done done such, they done done things undercover. And that's a gift of guilt. You know, sometimes people uh, uh, buy you expensive things to make up for that that they done that you are not aware of. But we must all know that expensive gifts doesn't show that a person loves you. What shows... The demonstration of love is how a person treats you on a day-to-day -day basis and how they express themselves. Expression is everything. Love is an action word. And if you tell me you love me today and you're not showing me no action, then you're not loving me. But don't get it twisted. We must not get it twisted. And materialize love so much that we can mistaken it for love. And it's not true love. Like I said, some people will buy you expensive gifts 
because that's their way of trying to trying to soothe their conscience sue their conscience for something that they've done that you are not aware of. But we must separate the two. And I just wanted to discuss this today. I, I'm up. It's, it's uh, 3.05 a.m. And I'm up. And I don't care how soon I go to bed, I'm going to still wake up at this time. This is the time where in the wee hours of the morning, the Lord is speaking and downloading information and telling me things. And, and you know, that's the way he does. That's the way he do things. He, he does things this way. This is how he operates. And I can be the, ta- uh, I can be the, uh, had a, a little, uh, pill to help me relax. Sometimes is, is we get older, we, we, we need a little help sometime and I'll take me a little, uh, pill to help me, you know, to go to sleep and sometimes, but I don't ever, I had I had start taking the little the pill to, to help me to rest a little bit better because I suffer with insomnia, and I was gonna take the medicine to see if it'll help me relax. But God ain't having it. The Lord is not having it. He's waking me up one around three, four, and five o'clock in the morning, and I don't care what type of sedative or pill I've had before I went to sleep. He's still gonna get me up. So, I'm not uh, rest deprived or anything. I'm very well rested, even though I'm up in the wee hours of the mornings. I'm very, very well rested. And I thank the Lord for waking me up. I wake up showering and get my clothes and my stuff together and you started my day off early. I may go back to sleep. It's three, three, it's three o seven now. I may go back to sleep probably around five thirty or six o'clock. But then again, I may stay up. But if I decide to go back to sleep, I thank God I can do that. But like I said, He wakes me up at the wee hours of the morning, and when He he does that. He's he's speaking to us when there's a stillness, when there's when 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 it's quiet and it's very quiet here in my house at, at the wee hours of the morning. But I just wanted to say hello to everyone, and I wanted to bring that message to you. And I just hope and pray that your Sunday. Be full of joy, peace, love, and happiness. And we, as people, and um, in Christ, we should strive each and every day to show love. Not only say that we love you, but show it. We must show each other how much we love each other. And, and when you love somebody... It can't be misunderstood if you truly love them. They won't have to wonder if you truly, truly love them or not. But I just ask the Lord to bless your household. I ask the Lord to just allow your day to be a Sunday like never before. And I just, like I said, I just thank you for stopping by my channel. And uh, just keep coming by. And whenever the Lord downloads... Uh, the message from the heavenly realm. I will definitely pour it out to you. And until next time, thanks for watching.